and welcome to Farming Live Australia. A couple of weeks ago I made a video about a couple of our cows that were in a bit of distress. One had eaten something and got it jammed in her mouth, I don't know if it was a bit of bone or a stick or what it was. By the time we caught her the next day and I felt around the mouth it seemed to have sorted itself out that problem and she's gone on and she's in good nick and there's no problem with her. There was another old girl there that was really lame and I trimmed her feet back best I could with the hand tools that I had but I wanted to get some gear and do it a lot better and I made up a bit of other gear to restrain her leg and I was able to successfully trim her feet properly. Without further mucking about I'll show you how we went. Last time I tried to trim the cow's foot I used a piece of rope and tied it up and I could see there were a few deficiencies in that idea so today I'm going to try and make something first off before I go over to trim her foot that'll actually hold a foot a lot more efficiently. So I'm going to make a buckle with a bit of this stainless steel rod and use an old short piece of tie down strap off the truck and together with that I'm hoping I can make some sort of restraint to actually hold her foot. With my press I made the shape as good as I could now I'll just knock it finely into shape with the hammer Okay, you can see here I've been able to make a square out of stainless steel and that's going to form the buckle where the cow's hoof will fit. I'm going to rivet the strap around the buckle and here I'm just burning the holes through the strap with a bit of hot wire. So my idea is that the cow's fetlock will be able to be contained here and I'll tie the strap up to the side of the crush and hold its foot up while I work on it. Whether that works or not we'll have to see. This is only the second time in 20 years that I've had to trim a cow's foot. Normally they're pretty right, you know they don't seem to get lame much but this one this time has got really bad and I've had to invent some gear because I haven't had to do this as I said much before and I bought a little battery angle grinder to actually do the grinding because I found that hand tools just really are slow and awkward given that their feet are so tough. My idea seemed to work alright You'd probably improve it a bit if you were going to be doing a lot of cows. See how all this is not level, it's all over the place. And the toe here, this toe here is way too long. In the past I've done plenty of horses feet and shod them and trimmed them and all that sort of thing so I wasn't too worried if it was a horse but I haven't done cows much at all. I don't know much about trimming cows feet so I looked it up and got as much information as I could and I was a little bit worried you know whether the angle grinder had set her off and she'd go crazy but no they didn't seem to take much notice of that at all. Okay. Now if you look across now, the foot's pretty level. Okay. Yeah, I hope you feel better after that. The way that my strap has to feed through the buckle is probably a bit slow and it's okay for doing one or two cows. But if you were going to do a lot, you'd make something a bit better than this as I said before. 
Come on, girl. Okay. Okay. Come in a bit okay, this foot, you can see, although her front legs, her other side front foot was really bad, and I was able to get a bit off it, but this one, you see all this here, all the weight of her body when she stands on that foot's going on the outer surface of a hoof, likewise here. And the hoof really needs to be level right across. And you can see when I touch this, it's a little bit touchy. So what I'll do is I'll clean that foot up. Okay, you can see that now when she stands on a foot there'll be a lot more even pressure on her foot all over, not just on those points. That should relieve a lot of pressure on her. On the outside wall of a foot in particular. No, you kick me, old girl. I'm in a good spot to get kicked there too. Infection. <coughs> well, me strap works okay. Luckily, she's a good quiet cow. I wouldn't like to try it on a real wild one. In this case, it might get this old girl out of trouble. Nowhere near as bad as she was. So that's something she can, she's getting around better, a lot better than she was, but a feeder by no means good. The other thing that's not helping this cow is she's got a little calf. Oh, it's probably two and a half or three months old now. So she's trying to feed herself and getting around bad and also feeding a calf. 
Now this foot isn't as bad as I said, I gave it the most attention because it was the sorest. Oh! Okay. Right. okay, now we'll see how this cow goes. I'd say a week's going to make a huge difference to her. It's been a couple of weeks since I gave her a bit of a trim up before, but I just used hand tools and they weren't good enough. This trimming today's way better. The old cow looks a lot better. Thanks a lot for watching this edition of Farming Live Australia. We'll see you next time.